Okay, I wanted to show you the what I think are some of the best amps in the Helix. You know, often I do like a deep dive looking at one specific model or one specific amp and look at the manuals. There's loads of these on the channel, but I wanted to kind of think about this from the point of view of maybe a newer user and kind of figure out what it is that we could do with some of these amp models. So if that's you watching Leon or Stu, um, hopefully this might be slightly helpful. Now, in terms of the best Marshall on here, I'd say the Placator Dirty based on the Friedman BE100 might be one to look at. Um, our stock settings will look like this. We've got the drive there at 5.3, etc. Don't be afraid to start with the base slightly higher up. The manual does recommend, the manual for the real amp recommends starting from kind of this place um, with the, the base kind of up, kind of high. Also, don't forget that at the further end of the manual you have these other settings that are on the real amp the hbe switch the fat switch the c45 and the saturation switch which all have an impact on what you get out of this but in terms of that crunchy hot rodded marshall thing So yeah, a really good one for those kind of marshally tones and you can get this drive really cooking if you want. Definitely give that one a try for your kind of hot rodded marshally tones. Now, if we are looking in terms of my favorite Vox tones on the 
Helix, the Matchless Channel 1, DC30. I think this is like a boutique version of the AC30, um, kind of built by hand uh, by some clever people. Um, the Matchless DC30 is sort of a, a very, very expensive amp. You'd expect it to sound good, and luckily it kind of does. Uh, we got a cut, bass and treble and presence just like the real thing. Also we got channel 2 and basically this tone knob uh, cuts out bass frequencies. Uh, like on the real thing you got a... Uh So all the way off at one is the least bass, so the kind of tightest, um, quickest sort of vibe. And if you have it all the way up at six, bass frequencies are, are brought back in. Um, sort of like the opposite of a cut switch, really. But that's on the real amp. Give that a try as well. And then the jumped channel is kind of the best of both worlds, and I kind of just pulled this one up quickly earlier just a really beautiful amp so if you're looking for vox tones that would be where I would look um, for me the, the best Fender amps possibly are this Baseman, um, so this is an important amp for a few reasons. So the Baseman was essentially the, the starting point for the Dumble sound. It's also the starting point for the Mesa Boogie Mark 1. It's also the starting point for the Marshall JTM. Uh, this was the circuit that a lot of people uh, did stuff with essentially. Um, so. nice kind of um, thick quality to it as well as that kind of fender thing going on So give that one a try, that's the Zen drive there in front, the Diana drive, um, a big part of that kind of Dumble thing as well. Um, also worth mentioning the US Princeton, um, Fender Princeton, really nice. <laughs> basically clean most of the way uh, especially with these types of pickups here's I think my second favorite amp of all the derailed Ingrid this is based on the train wreck hence derailed and Ingrid Ken Fisher made a real amp called the train wreck express and he used to give his amps names this one was named Ingrid and had a picture of a horse on it check out I've done more detailed videos on all of these but especially the derailed Ingrid there's a bright switch at the end here which is important um, and basically this can do everything from clean to really touch responsive.
to all out screaming So definitely give that one plenty of attention. That might be one that I would start off with if you're looking for certain things. There are a myriad of other great choices. The Cali Texas Channel 1, the Mezabugi Lone Star. Uh, I really like that one for some cleans. Um, got the Cali Mark IV. These are a bit difficult to, to dial in, but once you're there, you're there. Um, the Rev stuff people really like for heavier tones, as well as, obviously, the diesel stuff is great. Here's one that I use all the time, and this might be my favorite amp on here altogether, the Litigator. So this one is uh, sort of from the imagination of Ben Adrian, attempting to cop that kind of dumble tone, scratch that dumble itch is what he told me, um, and can do some really nice kind of soupy drive tones. <laughs> Think about it like sort of a Fender amp and with the, the kind of mods that someone like Two Rock or Red Plate or Fuchs or whoever would do to these kind of things. And you wouldn't be far off from getting an idea of what that can do. And it takes pedals nicely too, obviously. So here's the Zen drive in front. So for sure, give that one a try. Um, I'm going to call this one DU for now, and I need to save that somewhere. Put it here. Um, yeah, just really lovely. For everything else, there's a bunch of amps that you should know about, um, but those are the ones that I think you can get great results from instantly depending on what you're trying um, so yeah from the start I would go for checking out the Tweed Blues bright or normal for the basement kind of thing the Princeton for those kind of warm fender tones the derailed Ingrid for those train wreck kind of hot rodded Marshall hot rodded Vox kind of tones that can cover a whole bunch of ground um, up to kind of hair metal and that kind of really raunchy stuff um, then for your kind of key voxy tones I would start with the matchless DC 30 I think then for your Marshall tones I'd start with the placated dirty um, there are other Marshalls in here obviously but that one for me I think gets what you want out of a Marshall for me personally kind of that JCM 800 thing um, then the litigator 
definitely one worth checking out. Um, so hopefully that was a vaguely interesting video. I hope it helps one or two of you that might be new to the Helix world um, uh, in terms of kind of the amps that I'd be looking at for Yeah, there are individual uh, videos on all of these amps on the channel if you want to dig about and search for one of the best amps. But this would be sort of my list of maybe five favourites that you should definitely check out and don't miss these amps. So I'll catch you in another video soon. Let me know if you want me to drop each of these presets in. I've just dialed in a few there. Um, so there was one using the matchless jump channels. There was one using the litigator. There was also one using matchless channel one and these are what i'll be using in the introduction enjoy your helix i'll catch you in another video soon cheers <laughs>